Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Um, it's time for our hot topic, and this one says first year anniversary. Serap tells Tinubu to publish assets. Now, the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, Serap, has urged President Bola Tinubu to use the anniversary of his first year in office as an opportunity to demonstrate his oft expressed commitment to democracy, accountability, and openness in government by immediately publishing his assets declaration form. The rights group also urged the president to urgently propose a constitutional amendment to include provisions on the creation of assets declaration database to publish government officials' assets declaration forms before, during, and after serving in public office. Now, joining us to have a conversation about this is Dr. Law Mefor, as a forensic and social psychologist. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for hosting me. All right. So we're talking about um, Serap asking President Tinubu to declare or rather to publish his, his assets. Um, so I know that in, in other countries, you know, this is this is a normal um, procedure whereby the person who is, you know, vying for a particular office can decide to say, you know what, this is what I own um, to show that transparency and to show that I am clean. I'm not here for, you know, to steal public funds or anything. This is what this is what I own. And when I'm even out of that office, I also declare that this is what I have currently. But in Nigeria, that's not really the case. Most times we don't want to declare assets for um, reasons best known to these politicians um, they don't want you to just have that type of information but with Sarah asking for this and you know pegging it on accountability on transparency I want to just get your take your comment on this yeah I think it's um, an important recommendation that uh, the president should uh, not only declare his assets but mm. uh, should uh, make a declaration uh, open public so that Nigerians may know um, what he owns and what he doesn't own. Uh, but you see, there are two sides to it. One is um, the extent of the law. The law does not um, make it mandatory that the president or any public uh, official would uh, have to make open or public his or her um, as a declar declaration. Hmm. The law does not go to that extent. But the law says you should declare. And uh, you declare your assets to um, the Code of uh, Conduct the Bureau. Um, uh, and they, by law, should also investigate um, the declaration and be sure that uh, you, there are no false uh, claims when you are coming in and there are no false uh, claims when you are also departing the office. You know, the, I also like uh, the idea that um, uh, the organization calling for this, that they have also recognized the fact that there is need uh, to amend the constitution to uh, make the asset um, um, declaration public. It's not in the law yet. So the, the, there is need for an amendment. And... Um, if you ask me, I think it is important to really know um, what these people own when they are coming in and uh, what they own when they are going out. It's very, very fundamental. Um, from experience and the research, we have also found that um, many Nigerian um, uh, public officials even falsely declare their assets when they are coming in with the intention of acquiring um, the, the, the assets they included um, the, within a, a, the, their tenure in office. Let me explain what I mean here. It, the, the, um, a senator that is coming in may not own X, Y, Z properties, but uh, he, he identifies them and um, he, he declares that he owns them and um, goes after them when he comes into office. Yeah, this this is another uh, shade of criminality that we find attached to this uh, process. That is why it is very important because if uh, such uh, 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 assets are made uh, public, people will be able to put um, um, 
you know, uh, put a, a falsehood to such a claims, uh, because uh, if uh, um, it, it's known that uh, it, the person uh, declaring doesn't own X Y Z properties, and it's so declared, it, it, it can come to the a notice of uh, the public, and those who have the correct information will uh, counter such claims. And so, um, coming to the president himself, he has to lead from the front. He has to lead by example. He has to not only declare his assets, but also make uh, the assets declaration public. I think so far, um, particularly in this uh, democratic uh, dispensation that started in 1999, I think it was only um, good Lord Jonathan. Yeah. And uh, I also think uh, Yara Dua. You know, they were they may be the only two that have been made the, the assets and declaration public so that Nigerians uh, would know what they own, what they are worth, and um, nobody else has uh, done so. But you see, he, 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 you know, but those were personal decisions, particularly with uh, Jonathan. He will tell you he did this. We are not talking about um, what you did to demonstrate good faith, to demonstrate. Um, transparency, integrity. You need to make these things a lawful provision. He, because even Yaradua and Jonathan took a step further by proposing amendment to uh, the CCB Act to uh, ensure that assets declaration are published by Code of Conduct the Bureau. Because appropriately, they should be the ones that should publish such um, assets declaration as uh, declared by the individuals, you know, as categories of uh, public office uh, holders. You know, the, 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 the Code of Conduct Bureau should, be able, should have the power by law to publish uh, such uh, assets because they are public uh, of, of officers. And we need, to know, we need to know who they are. And um, you have a Nigeria uh, where um, somebody comes into office, a pauper, and leaves a um, billionaire. Something is not adding up. You wonder how they amassed um, such a um, you know, stupendous wealth overnight. It's through corruption, certainly not through their allowances and all that. They, 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 it is clear corrupt enrichment. Um, you can look at um, records of uh, Nigerian governors. We, we have more than a hundred of them, uh, former governors since 1999. And um, most of them have the uh, files in the uh, EFCC. And uh, if uh, th this law is in place, if this law is in place, um, making it mandatory that the, the access declaration will be made public, it, is, it, is, it becomes an instrument um, for uh, the fight against the corruption in Nigeria. But uh, making it a secret, in the, it, it, it is now between them and the Code of Conduct Bureau and then um, the, 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 you can be sure that the Code of Conduct Bureau themselves will be uh, overwhelmed in a, um, a kind of a work that is required. And that is why they need assistance of uh, the public. The public, Nigerians cannot help them unless Nigerians have access to the access uh, uh, declaration funds of uh, these uh, public uh, officers. We need to know what they own when mm. they come into office and when they leave office is very fundamental i think okay. it is it, it is one tool that is needed if we really have to make our fight against corruption oh, all right so i mean you just talked about corruption and that the reason why some of them might not want to declare assets is because obviously there might be some skeletons in the cupboard or things they want to do when they go into office but um some others will argue will argue that um this might just be a case of privacy so i'm wondering could there be some privacy concerns one or a case of corruption too. And in all of this, because if you are being elected to lead a country or to be a public a, a government official to lead you know, a certain um, community of people, then you need to be able to give transparency and accountability. So how can we you know, balance all of this? How can we have measures in place to ensure that this um, public officials are there um, and giving us transparency back because we need to be able to ascertain what they are doing if they're using public funds for their own private lives 
or if they're just there to be figureheads while we are suffering and making all the sacrifices. So how, what do we do you as know, a people, as a nation? You know, for me, the word public, you know, when you say somebody is a public official, yeah. um, once you are said to um, be or become a public official, you lose uh, that right uh, to privacy to a reasonable extent. Because um, you are hired to serve to lead the people, okay. and you you are you, you cannot you cannot um, lead the people effectively if um, they don't know who you are. You know, so when you say a public official, <clears throat> a public official, it means it, it, it's somebody who is serving the public. You are hired if you want to maintain. Um, uh, what you call a privacy, you, you, you live a private life. Living a private life means you, you don't uh, take up a public service uh, appointment. You don't take it because you don't want, you, you don't want your, 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 your life to be uh, open to public scrutiny. So you cannot accept to be a public official and want to also maintain total uh, uh, privacy. It's not possible. It's not even legal. It's not even legal. And so it, it's important to uh, draw uh, a line here. You, you, you want to be a private uh, citizen. You live a private life. Nobody would uh, want to know what you do with your life. But once you take up the public service appointment, president, governor, local government chairman, senator, and all that, you lose substantial, substantial uh, aspect of your of your of your private day life. You just have to lose it because we need to know who you are. That is why, that is why the issue of uh, declaration of assets is even uh, made uh, mandatory. It's just that it is not made uh, open uh, to to public scrutiny. That is what we are talking about here. So if uh, they have uh, the power, uh, uh, the, the right to keep their privacy. There wouldn't be any need for a law that will make them to declare their assets in the first place. So the the, the issue of them uh, maintaining their their public uh, their private life in public uh, office is not is not right. It's not right at all because nobody compelled them to become president or senator or governor. Nobody compelled. Them. The conditions are there that we need to know who you are. That's it. If you look at the uh, forms they feel to run for offices with INEC, for example. You will see the questions that are asked there. The questions are very, are, are very, are very uh, private uh, questions. They want to know if you're married, if you're married, you, are, you have children, how many children. Those, mm -hmm. these, are, these are private uh, questions. They want to know who you are. So why can't, uh, why can't we go the whole hog uh, by ensuring that the public uh, officials declare their assets and Nigerians have access to the declaration that they have made. I, I, I think it's only right. And um, the law as of now is uh, shielding and uh, protecting public officials. And they hide behind the law to commit all manner of atrocities. I give you an example of uh, somebody who is coming into a public office and he is looking at uh, private uh, um, <clears throat> properties to acquire and he declares that he has already that he owns these uh, properties already, and um, it, it, it's all lies. He will not make efforts to acquire the, the properties while in office, and uh, that is clear corruption. It's criminal, but that is what is going on. And um, I agree with the with the, the organization that is calling for amendment of uh, the extant uh, law to uh, ensure that they, they, they make their access uh, declaration public. And the president uh, needs to do, needs to declare his, uh, his access and make them public. I believe he has declared access by now. He's making the declaration public. If he does so, it will uh, uh, encourage others to do the same. But even if uh, he does so, um, others may not because they are not required by law to do so to make their access declaration public. So what the president needs to do, if he has to really help the uh, situation and ensure that the correct thing is done and done uh, completely, is to propose, 
through uh, the Attorney General of the Federation to propose amendment to the extant law so that the uh, answers a declaration forms will be made public to Nigerians by good or conduct bureau. That's that that's where that's what I think should be appropriate. Nobody in public life can claim that is entitled to total uh, private privacy. No, you are not the, the privacy is moderated. There are things we need to know. We need to know what you are doing with our money. We need to know you know what you do with your personal life is not really what Nigerians are after. Nigerians want want to be sure that the integrity is maintained. They want to be sure that uh, you're not diverting public funds using your position as a, an approving authority, uh, as a CEO or whatever, to uh, divert a monument for development to private uh, use, which, exactly, which is exactly what is going on in Nigeria at the moment. Mm. So, <laughs> I mean... I want to use a case study, which is um, the former governor um, of Kogiste, Yahaya Bailo, who has been accused of stealing over 80 um, a billion naira. Now, this is one case that, you know, that we've heard recently. But of course, you hear of, you know, other cases of um, people stealing money from the coffers rights of, of, of Nigerians, of Nigerian funds. And my question now is, you know, in a way to deter corruption, Obviously, this is going to be a good, a good policy being put in place. But I'm just wondering, do you think the lawmakers would actually, you know, opt for this, saying yes, or anyone who is, you know, vying for a public office should be able to declare their assets before, during, and after, you know, they, if they win, after they, they're, they're out of the office. So do you think the lawmakers, because at the end of the day, this, this thing still needs to pass through the lawmakers. They're the ones who are going to enforce it and put it in our constitution. So do you think this is something that they might opt for? Or in a bid to be able to save themselves and their colleagues, they might just say, no, we are not going to make it mandatory for anyone to, um, you know, have to declare their assets. And I'm talking about this because you already mentioned the fact that Nigerians need to know what, you know, the public officials are doing. Your private life, that's for you. But if you're going to say, I want to take a public office, then we should be able to know what you're doing. And especially when it comes to money. And that should be some form of accountability and transparency for us all. Yes, um, but, but it's going to be a big uh, fight to get uh, such a law uh, passed at uh, the present uh, National Assembly. Because uh, many of them are uh, ex this, ex that, ex the former governors, former ministers, former this and that. And um, they are the, um, <clears throat> part of the people being accused here. So asking the same people to amend the law to um, open open uh, their underbelly to the <laughs> Nigerian Republic will be a very hard one. But again, you see, we cannot take because of um, a presumable resistance that uh, a law or a policy would uh, encounter in, in National Assembly or wherever and not pursue them. The president in lawmaking has uh, an overarching uh, powers. If you go to the National Assembly, the laws before um, the uh, Senate and the House of Reps, uh, uh, nearly 70% of those laws uh, are executive uh, bills. Executive bills are bills that emanate from the President via the office of uh, the Attorney General. And so he, he, the, let the President do his own part and then do the push. Yes, do, do, the, do, do his own part and do the push. And um, if, he, if he does the right uh, push, he may just get this law passed. And um, uh, 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 again, uh, it's not only the National Assembly that will resist it. Even uh, the present uh, crop of uh, public officials uh, under the Tenubu uh, presidency and all that, we also, uh, they may also not uh, feel uh, comfortable with um, such a law. So there will be resistance from here and there. But it depends on what the president wants. One thing I keep saying is, it's not enough for um, a president, it's not enough for the president to um, 
you know, play good boy. No, it's not. It's a, it, we saw a lot of that with um, Jonathan when he was president. Jonathan would uh, beat his chest and tell you, I appointed uh, Atahiru Jiga, the chairman of INEC, somebody I never knew. You know, he was just recommended. You know, they, 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 that is not what we wanted him to do. We wanted him to make uh, such appointment into a law. Yeah, because if he had uh, uh, pushed a law that would uh, uh, allow uh, uh, Justice uh, Wise uh, report um, uh, uh, for electoral reforms to be formulated as laws, he, after he had left office, the, the, the succeeding uh, president, uh, Muhammad Buhari, would have done the kind of appointments he made in INEC. You know, so he, he being a, a good man is not enough. We want the laws. So that when the good man is not there, the bad man is not able to change uh, change uh, certain things. That's why I am saying that asking uh, President Timbo to make his asset uh, declaration uh, public is not enough. Even if he makes it public, it is still not enough. We want a law that will compel every public official to make his or uh, her asset declaration public. That's what we want. And... Um, the Tinubu can do so. He, he is stupendously uh, wealthy, and I don't expect him to. Um, I don't expect that um, a, a primitive uh, accumulation of wealth will be his preoccupation now. As uh, you know, having made uh, the kind of uh, wealth he has made already, mm -hmm. so he, he he can do this for Nigeria and ensure that um, we have a law in place so that we can. We can all uh, join hands and ensure that uh, these people remain uh, decent while in office. We are not looking for angels to come and govern Nigeria, but there, there ought to be a measure of decency. There, there has to be a measure of integrity in uh, the process. You know, don't forget, it is the good man today that becomes a, a bad man tomorrow. Why? Right. Because of circumstances. When the laws, when the laws are lax, lose. It, human beings, you know, have the tendency to exploit yeah. you know, such such a loopholes and they cover their track. And the law we have on access declaration at the moment is so weak because it is shrouded in the mystery and secrecy. It's only uh, uh, the code of uh, a conduct bureau that knows, you know, and they investigate only what they want. But if we all have access to what is there, we should be able to put pressure. Uh, on the uh, on appropriate uh, agencies like ICPC, EFCC, to look into certain uh, cases that we believe uh, uh, about uh, primitive uh, and criminal accumulation of wealth right, while sir. an individual is in office. Yeah. Abuse, of, uh, abuse of office is what we are talking about here. Yeah. Criminal accumulation, criminal diversion of funds, and, you know, it well, we're, looking, we're, we're hoping we're hoping that obviously there would be a way um, for them to, you know, implement or for them to enforce a law that ensures, you know, all of these public officials are able to declare their assets. And with doing that, it might just be able to deter corruption as well. So we hope that yes. President Bola Tinubu will be able to would would lead by example one um, to declare his assets or publish his assets, and then even um, enforce a law that says everyone as long as you're vying for office you should be able to do that as well and i mean that would just help with accountability with transparency and then we we also hope that other um cso's i mean serap is doing the good work but other cso's come then the nigerian people come together and you know demand for this because if we do not demand for it then they will just think we're jokers and not do anything about it so we hope that yeah. you know all of this will be will be done and we will get to that point of accountability and transparency for Nigeria. Or I want to say thank you for coming. Um, it was lovely having a conversation with you on this. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a blessed day. You too, sir. Okay, we've been speaking with Dr. Lom before. He's a forensic and social psychologist. And we've been discussing the fact that Sarah has asked President Tinubu to publish his assets since it's his first year in office now just to take, you know, this measure to do that. We'll go on a short break. And when we return, we'll be looking at the local government's autonomy. So please stay with us. <laughs>